Hi guys, Tom Morrison here and this is the 90-90 position. If however you were like I was and weren't even able, like couldn't even, I'm going to take you through some progressions so that you can start to work in this movement. So if you're down in the floor like this, you can't get up at all or you can't get down to the floor, here's where we start. So if you sit on the edge of your bed or your sofa, you can start to work on one hip at a time. So the front leg of the 90-90 is externally rotated. So this is what you can start to work on with the front leg here. So this is trying to replicate that front leg position. And the back leg is internally rotated. So if you just scooch your foot out to the side a bit and then start to bring your knee down, this starts to work on that internal rotated position. So you can start to hang out here and just do reps like this from side to side, rocking yourself like this, moving your upper body around to see if you feel any cramping sensations or any tightness that's restricting you in the hips. And you can just swap from side to side just go out to external rotation and then go in to internal rotation. If it feels too intense, you just lean back a little bit and you can start to put that little bit of extra pressure on the hip. You're looking to feel this up in and around the hip as you do this, not on the insides or the outsides of the knee as you work on that. So you can spend time going between side to side like this. And when that starts to feel okay, you can then bring yourself to your sofa and give yourself a generous lean so that you're like this and you can start to then work on seeing where you can sit up to and use your hands to assist you and then to swap side to side you can just bring both the feet down and just lean yourself over to the other side so this would be an exercise called 90-90 switches which are really nice to do and if you just can't do them on the floor this is the variation that you'll be able to do so you're just getting used to being in these positions and again you can move yourself around while you're here if it feels okay use your hands to help you come up more upright to support yourself and your full goal is to eventually be able to get yourself to a point that you could just sit up like this so it's called a shin box position so we change the shin angle and it's slightly easier to sit in and when you start to get to that you'll then find you're able to get to the floor and then you'll be able to start playing around with the 90 90 itself and progress your hip mobility from there